Hi guys, welcome to the Kines 116 Kinematics Lab. I'm going to go over station F. So for station F, we're going over centripetal acceleration, which is acceleration that is directed towards the center of rotation or the axis. So for example, we have a guy here holding the string that is connected to a baseball. He's rotating it or spinning it angularly. And we know that centripetal acceleration is proportional to the radius of the distance to the object that we're holding. So we know that if there's a greater radius, he will therefore have to apply more force to, to spin the ball angularly compared to a lower radius or a smaller radius. He will then have to apply less force to keep it kind of the same acceleration as he would if it was further away. So that answers some of the questions in your stations. But the last one, if we were to let go of the ball, we know that the velocity is actually perpendicular to the radius. So if they say the ball's over here, then the velocity would be that way. Or if it's this way, then the velocity would be that way. So if we were to let go of the ball this way, let it, walk, let it go while we're holding it this direction, the velocity is going to continue to take the ball that direction. Same thing with if the ball is this direction, it's going to be moving the ball that way, even though we have released it while it's in that position.